so this is the entrance to Victoria Falls. That's the original local name, Mose Al Tunya. And this was established as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1989. Victoria Falls, we're at the information center. This is the map of where we're going. We're keeping this really cool Dr. nature trail. Dr. Livingston, I presume. <laughs> so Dr. Livingston was the first European to view the falls. And it's on the Zambezi River. So this right here is a bush buck. This is one of the wild animals that lives around here in Victoria Falls. This right here, Mr. Livingston, Dr. Livingston. He was the first European person to discover the falls. So this part right here is called Devil's Cataract. The basalt cliffs were formed by lava way back in the Jurassic period. Pictures cannot capture how beautiful this is, the amount of depth that you can see here. It's literally a sheer wall of basalt and just a giant curtain. What do you think, Mike? Magnificent and primordial. Victoria Falls! spray coming from down below and this is dry season here you can see the basalt rock we're here during dry season this is november end of november and can you imagine during may the curtain of water is even bigger We're in the middle of a rainforest, and this is the path that takes you to all the vantage points on the Zimbabwe side of the falls. And on the other side is Zambia. There's tons of helicopters here. The whole place is swarming with helicopters. You can take helicopter tours to see it from up above. Victoria Falls has the largest curtain of falling water on the planet at 1708 meters wide and 108 meters high. These are ebony trees and we're walking through the rainforest. This whole area became green because of the spray from the water. I'm walking down this path. We're going to Victoria Falls. We're actually in the park right now. And look at this. We're in the middle of a rainforest. The Zimbabwean side of the falls lies on the Victoria Falls rainforest, a result of the water vapor rising from the falls. This right here is a fig tree. It's edible. This part right here is like a natural shower. It's nice and wet from breeze. This flower is called the fireball. And then if you can really squint and see some people way over there. That is the Devil's Pool. This right here is the Devil's Pool. You get to the Devil's Pool from the Zambia side and our guide said it costs $160 for a tour and it comes with lunch and round trip to Zambia. Mike's waving to the people in the devil's pool. Although I think they're too busy taking photos. Look at that water! Behold, Victoria Falls! <laughs> Look at all the mist. It's just white with mist. 
and our guide said that in May this whole area is mist. This is the bottom of the waterfall. This part right here is dry, but during wet season, the entire thing has water. This part right here has no barrier. Look at this. So crazy. <laughs> Victoria Falls! Victoria Falls! <laughs> Look at this rainbow. And then you can see the water like traveling this way because of the wind. The Zambezi River is the fourth longest river in Africa at 2,693 kilometers in length. This is the famous bridge. Only one car can pass at a time. And this is the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia, former North and South Rhodesia. So we're walking back on the path here in Victoria Falls, and we took a guided tour here with Indus Travels. And you can also come here on your own if you want, and it's a $30 entry fee to the park. Ooh, King of the jungle, King of the day. jungle. We're in the middle of the jungle. Check this out. Look at this. Look at all these vines. In the middle of the jungle in Victoria Falls. Look at this tree. Wanna see something cool? and we're looking at a tropical subtropical dry forest so it turns green during the rainy season which is coming up soon but then the rest of the year it stays dry. like this mike what did you think about victoria falls amazing so worth it we Thank loved you. it i liked it it was it was all all i envisioned it to be is one of the wonders of the world totally yep, awesome it, if you're in up Southern to it, Africa, you gotta include this. You can come all this way without coming here. It's wild, it's nature at its best. This is one of the wonders of the world.